This is a Crunch Lab box by Mark Rober, and this is a Tinker Crate by the KiwiCo Company. And today, in this video, my son and I are going to go through multiple Crunch Lab and KiwiCo boxes with the goal of determining who makes the most fun, the most educational, and the most all around engaging subscription, engineering, and science boxes for your kids. If you watch YouTube, then you're probably familiar with Mark Rober and his Crunch Lab boxes. But KiwiCo is a company that has been around for much longer doing the exact same thing. In fact, they actually sponsored a lot of Mark's earlier YouTube videos. And I bet Mark telling KiwiCo he was going to his own line of boxes was a pretty awkward conversation. Nevertheless, let's get started. When doing these kits, I asked my son which kit was more fun, which kit did he learn the most from, and I'll discuss which company has the most options, and finally, the most important question, which service would you want to continue if you had to choose just one? And after tallying up the points in the end with a score of 3-2, to two, it was surprisingly close. Let's look at both of the boxes. They of course arrive monthly in the mail in similar shaped and sized boxes. In my opinion, the greatest thing about the build boxes is whatever is needed whether a battery, a tea light, a screwdriver, or rubber bands, it's always included no matter which company you choose. You're never going to open a box and then have to rummage through cabinets and drawers to look for that certain tool to complete the building process. Inside of both boxes you have your build parts, your instructions, and then the KiwiCo boxes generally have an additional educational pamphlet or reading material, whereas Crunch Labs has a QR code to take you to a pre-recorded science lesson corresponding to the physics lessons for that month that are in that box. The Crunch Lab build instructions are usually a standard pamphlet, whereas the KiwiCo can be a slightly more cumbersome folded mini poster. With these kits, my son has made disc launchers, coin spinners, vortex cannons, catapult arcade games, and a whole lot more. So to get to the first question on the test, which kits were more fun? Um, which kit was more fun? I think both. Somewhat surprising to me, my son chose both. So there you have it right out of the gate, it's a tie. Objectively, my son appeared to have a lot of fun building and interacting with the kids, irrespective of the brand he was currently interacting with. And I truly believe, strictly from an entertainment standpoint, he really didn't care which box he was open on any given day. So to go on to the next question, which kit has the greater educational value? And to help us figure this out, let's look at the included materials. KiwiCo has in each box included handouts that go over in great detail the physics topics that were covered in their build. The handouts are bright, easy to read, and quite enjoyable. However, from my perspective, they just cannot compete with the online videos from Mark Rober. As a former high school science teacher myself, I was impressed with the level of engagement he was able to capture from my kids from beginning of the video all the way to the end. From a strict learning and educational standpoint, these videos are better than his YouTube channel as he really dives deep into the physics and engineering while doing an amazing job at keeping it simple with impressive visuals and demonstrations. Your kids, just as mine did, will learn a lot from the KiwiCo boxes. However, I know my kids are going to retain a lot more of the knowledge in the long run just because of how engaged they were watching Mark's videos. Which kit did you learn more from? Probably the Mark Rover. So at this point, Mark's skills as an educator allow him to take a narrow two to one lead in the who's got the best subscription box competition. Now let's look at both companies' versatility. Crunch Labs focuses almost entirely on engineering and physics and is advertised on their website for ages eight to 12. KiwiCo, however, flexes some muscle in this category as it has subscription lines ranging from basically toddlerhood through the entire geriatric spectrum. Now, I don't know how many octogenarians are active subscribers, but hey, some people are lifelong learners. In addition to the broader age group. They also have many subject lines ranging from not just physics, but to art, geography, and even a culinary themed subscription line. So the wider range of age groups and subscription lines allows KiwiCo to come back and tie the score up two to two in our heads up competition. Before we get to the tiebreaker and ultimate winner, let me tell you a brief word about this video's sponsor. I'm just kidding. Nobody sponsors our videos. But I do want to say if you're considering purchasing any one of these subscription lines from either company, you're not going to regret it. If you have children between the ages of eight and 12 and you want to encourage science education, especially engineering and physics, French Labs will definitely be a great choice. Your kids likely already are in love with Mark Rober and they will love these boxes as well. If you have kids of varying age ranges and they are already showing passions for other subject matter like art, cooking, or any of the other subject lines that are offered by KiwiCo, they will enjoy those boxes as well. It really is a no-lose scenario because both companies perform exactly as advertised. In the end, this is a competition and there has to be a winner and I put that responsibility solely on my son by asking him directly if he could only have one subscription service going forward which one would it be drum roll please and if you had to choose going forward kiwico or mark rober which kit would you get mark rober there you have it it's crunch labs for the win i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time